Hello everyone, so today I'm hanging out on my dark side character Descane and I'm on our Imperial Guild flagship pretty cool location, but today I'm going to be opening up a new type of cartel pack and it's called the Warbound Crusader pack and it just came out of the cartel market not too long ago. They're pretty okay priced and they seem to have an okay assortment of items. I'm not sure if I'm super excited about this pack because I didn't see any armors when I previewed it that I super wanted, but I guess I'll see what we get. Maybe I'll like them more than I thought I would. And we got 26 to open. Something sparkly. Hoth Defender's Upper Body Armor and Security Chief's Upper Body Armor. <laughs> On the very first pack, I got two different Upper Body Armors. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look at these. Uh, and we will go to our collections and take a nice peek. And I'm going to be careful. I don't really want to see the rest of the stuff that's in here. So it was hot. Oh, that's actually... Oh, it looks kind of silly with my helmet, sorry. Hoth Defender set. It, it looks very warm, that's for sure. Definitely looks like something on Hoth. It's kind of a padded Jedi robes, I guess? Definitely not some trooper armor there. And what was the other one? Security? There's about 50 different security outfits. Security Chief's armor set. Is that this one? That's okay, I guess. It's definitely a sip <laughs> if you want a bowl for a helmet. I don't know, that'd probably be really good for a smuggler and agent, I imagine. Let's open up some more. I'll cast Steam Vent. A more decorations and chance cubes as always. See what we get here. Chance cube and Security Chief's lower body armor. I guess we're gonna get the whole set. I wonder what the super rare items that are in this one. I think maybe something like Senya's Pike or Tight's Pike. Sith Hermit Supplementary Body Armor. Kind of looks like that could be a cool set. Iocast Forge Cauldron Decoration. Take a look at those decos a bit later. Chance Cube! So many Chance Cubes. Another Forge Cauldron. I, I think I remember seeing the... Iocath decorations, and they were mostly kind of technological stuff, not really decorations you put in your home. For example, an Iocath battery. And more chance cubes. We're gonna have a chance cube of Palooza. <laughs> Another Iocath battery. Something gold. Iocath Forge Lava Fall. It's a gold decoration, so maybe that one's a nice one. Let's take a pause and take a look at those decos. I don't stash. Decorations. Hey, okay, here's the battery. Um, let's see if we can get it dark. There we go. It's really boring. Forge cauldron. It's really boring. Steam vent. Ooh, maybe I can use those in the spa. I hope it has animation. And f <gasps> wow! No way! That's really cool. It's like lava coming out of a vent. I'm gonna have to go check that out later in my stronghold. No wonder it's a gold decoration. Iocath Power Cell, another gold decoration. Let's see what else there is. Transport tube decoration? Chance cube. Apparently, this is the age of decorations. It's too bad they're not really cool ones. Uh, one of my favorite packs for decorations were the ones that were all Sith decos and all Jedi decos. Iocast Steam Vent? Ugh. Okay, so... So far on this pack, this Warbound Crusaders pack, I'm gonna say absolutely not. I love decorations, but I don't like when they just take random bits from around the world. What's this? Krellian K5 Blaster Rifle and Dust Vipers Lower Body Armor. That looks like kind of a cool blaster rifle, actually. Let's take a look at that. It is a... Oh, we got another decoration, didn't we? Iocath transport to... Oh, that's fun. It's probably giant, though. Yeah, it goes in... It goes in a... St oh, a starship hook. 
And Iocath Power Cell. Ooh, is that like a... That's a rug tile. That's really cool, actually. Okay. Eh, some of the decorations are eh, but some of them seem okay. Chance cube. Secure G slower body armor again. I guess it's kind of good that the chance cubes are in there, but I still want to see some new items. Same blaster rifle again. Oh, we forgot to stop and look at it. Dust vipers. Oh, upper body armor. There we go. So, where's that weapon, first of all? <laughs> we got two. This character looks silly. Hang on here. There we go. Sith with a blaster rifle. Oh, that's not really what the preview looked like. That's kind of cool. It's got some green glowy bits. Kind of looks more old-fashioned. And the armor is viper armor. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's really simple. It looks like a kind of Tatooine armor to me. So the whole thing had to do that. Looks like you're going on a safari. It's kind of cool. Pretty simple set. Thirteen more to go. Tythian Flame War Heroes Crystal. Oh, I was, this Saber Crystal actually looks pretty nice. I'm gonna actually try it out in real life because they don't always look the same when you're just previewing them. It is a... Mm, nope, not a miscellaneous. An item modification. There we go. Let's go. I'm not even sure what I have for lightsabers right now. I just got some basic red ones. Let's pop this in my cool saber that's in my left hand there. That's kind of neat. It's kind of like a yellow crystal, except it's got kind of a yellowish, goldish core instead of the classic white core. Let's see what that looks like. Flourish. Yeah, that's good. That's a nice crystal, actually. I don't really usually like the non-white core ones too much. It's a good name, Titanium Flame. A forge rotor decoration. Well. An Iokoth conduit. Oh, there's some, there are so many decorations in this pack. Decoration. Uh, that looks really boring. Maybe it has something you can click? We're definitely gonna go to my house later and see what, what those are. Let's just claim those right now, one of each. Uh, power cell? Sure. Sure, 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 sure. There. These <laughs> things simple. Dust Viper Supplementary, an Iocath Mini Dome. What does that even mean? It's another deco. <laughs> okay, it's kind of cute. I hope some of these are small. The Iocath ones look like they're going to be big decos that only fit in a large spot. That one was a medium though, so maybe it's okay. Super gold item! Hot Defender's Upper Body Armor. So, if someone likes that set, I'll be selling it on the TTM later. Sith Hermit's lower body armor. I think we got one of those. Or we got the supplementary, so maybe we'll get the chest piece. Another of those Tython. Tython! Oh, Tyth! Not Tythonian. It's Tyth like the operations boss. And a Rendili Chameleon. <laughs> Chameleon. That makes sense, it's green. Just a basic speeder. Sith Hermit's lower body armor. Gonna have a lot of skirts. Another decoration. Grand chance cube. Dust Viper's upper body armor. Hey, we got another one of those. Oh, wouldn't it be cool if I got like the super rare item? <laughs> I'm not even sure what it is. Uh, blaster. Simple blaster. Emote excited child? What does that mean? Oh, okay, we need to get that. Emote. Excited child. I I I like the sound of that. Excited child. Let's 
see how this works. Oh, no. Excited. Oh, no, that's just normal old excited. Child? Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, yeah. That's certainly something there. I don't know quite what to think of that. Touch your toes and do a dance. Uh, I feel like this is going to be my spirit child emote when I'm in raids and I'm bored and getting antsy. Let's open up four more. Another steam vent, a vintage load lifter. Oh, that looks like a fun mount. I'm gonna try that one out. We'll open these up and then we'll check those and do the chance cubes. Chance cube. Another decoration. My decoration count's gonna go up if that uh, counts for anything. Uh, the ratio to credits for cartel pack I don't think is quite worth it though. Title, Owlcat Crusader. It's not bad. I wish you could have one more than more than one title at a time, but that wouldn't quite make sense with it. Iocast Steam Vent. Mm, last chance at something amazing. Whoa! And it's supplementary body armor. Okay, this was yeah, I wouldn't really recommend this pack. Let's see what else. Did you get any more decorations? Oh, that one was new. Hang on here. Got transport tube, forage cauldron. Oh, they just didn't stack. That's silly. And, oh, what was it? A mount we got that was cool? Let's check out both of these. Why not, huh? Oh, I don't have any bars. Daily Chameleon. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's a good starter one. It's got a cool little display pad in the front there. Get off that and we'll check. This is the one I'm kind of excited about. This one's cool. Whoop, that's not it. There we go. Oh, that's fun. I wonder why this is a bronze item. It's pretty fun. Woohoo! Feels like it's going so fast. This is this is very cool. This would be very cool for like a trooper or a smuggler. It doesn't quite fit a Sith. A little not fancy enough. Let's see if this is load lifter. Oh yeah, it's not expensive at all. On my server on the Ebon Hawk, it's only sixty thousand credits. That's barely anything. Let's go check out what else we could have gotten from that pack. Collections. And let's go to the pack items. There we go. There was that one armor set we didn't get the chest piece of. Oh, there's a Nexu mount. That's cool. Apparently an Imperial Devastator mount. Oh, I could have gotten a monolith? Another speeder? Uh, oh wow. Creepy companion? I didn't get any of the cool stuff. I didn't get any of the pets! What is this nonsense? That is absolute baloney. I'm gonna sue Bioware for malpractice. Let's let's look these up on the GTN leader. Uh, oh, here's the one that's really cool that I could have gotten. The Tithian lightsaber. Is it actually longer? Oh, it's kind of got a really long handle. And then there's the... Oh, the pike. The pike is the super rare item. That's kind of cool. It kind of extends as you open it. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I'd use it on my characters, but I can see why people would want it. And, oh, there's apparently this armor set, too. Let's preview that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's not too bad. Not really my style. It's got it's a nice, simple Jedi look. Very primal kind of set. Eh, not the best. Not the best pack in the world, I would say. Let's see. War Machine. L1 L War Machine. This is why I never worry about getting the pets. 30,000 and a ruby verblet. <laughs> that one wasn't even a 20,000. I'll send these over to my other character who collects the pets. And oh, we have all those chance cubes we need to open, huh? 
They are in the pack explorer. There we go. I'm hoping for the underworld bar! Emote air drums. I'll take it. That's fun. What is it? Black and medium orange dye. I can be Halloween! Gold? Marsh Hunter Acklay. <gasps> oh! Do I even have this? Yes, I do, but this is super, super cool. This is what my, my Bounty Hunter's map. Oh, that's an awesome item to get from a chance cube. Oh, that's fun. I wonder how much that is worth. I need to, I need to check. Oh, and a Chagruta decoration? Man, these chance cubes are like 10 times better than the actual packs. A Chagruta. Oh, we're gonna look in decorations. It's five million credits. Oh my god. I'm I'm definitely gonna keep that one for myself though. What's the other one? Acolyte? Oh what? There's different colors of acolyte? Ew, that one's creepy though. Oh wait a second, which one did I actually get? No, I got the green one. Oh, I got the one with twelve million. Nice. Okay. Well, I'm a bit happier. Apparently have super lucky chance cubes. <laughs> a Zerka Desert Special. Okay, this one is a bronze, but it's actually really cute. I will show you this one. Because I like this one a lot. And I've actually I've never gotten it before. I've never bought it on any of my characters. It's got like a kind of an actual Bantha hide on the front, and it's got like a Oh, I can't show it. Kind of tribal pole, like a Tatooine sand people kind of thing going on. I wonder how much that's worth. Is there kind of desert special? I'm not even sure how old it is. Oh, it's uh, not... I spell desert. You'd only want to cross it once. D-E-S-E-R-T special. Yeah, um... Apparently from the Vice Commandants pack. Must be an older one. All right, that's cool. I need to make a Tatooine character one day. Light gray and dark purple dye. That sounds pretty. Oh yeah! Roland Dyer's armor set. This is one of my favorite sets. Oh, this is apparently Bounty Hunter Day because I got the Ackley that I wear my Bounty Hunter, and I also got Roland Dyer's, which is my Bounty Hunter's armor. And oh, this is this is an awesome, awesome set. Oh, I need to go in armor. Here we go. Roland, there we go. This is a beautiful set. And I will show it off any day of the week. I've got this on like a blue chist, so it matches even better. Just look at this set. This is awesome. It's got spikes. It's got a jetpack. Oh, I want to know how much this is worth so I, I'm not like teasing you guys saying this armor is so cool and you can't afford it. <laughs> Rolling. Well, if you like the pants, they're not expensive. Let's see how much the chest goes for. Okay, so on my server, the chest is 1,200,000 credits. So, and, and they go from about 2 mil to... 7 mil, so it's it's expensive, but it's not completely unobtainable. If you want to do a bunch of dailies, you can definitely get this set. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. Corellian Bunker Buster Grek. I have no idea what this is, but it looks cool. Oh, I think it's a... for a commando, huh? Is there anyone else who uses an assault cannon other than a commando? I want to use it on the Imperial side. That definitely looked like an evil super weapon gun. And a sniper rifle for the sniper I do not have. Okay, Dust Storm Survivor's Armor Set. Oh, I really like this set. It's a very Tatooine survival kind of set. Okay, last one. Deep green and black dye. Okay, I'm pretty darn happy with my with what I got from the chance cubes. Oh, I still have two to go. Blah. Dark pink and dark gray. Anything now is just like icing on the cake. 
Serenity Unsealed Lightsaber. Ooh. That looks pretty. Hang on, I want to see that. Oh. That looks very silly. Oh, it's kind of hard to see, but the crystal is floating on the bottom of the lightsaber. It probably glows when you're wearing it in person. That's pretty neat. Yeah, that's a cool lightsaber. How much? Oh, that. Oh, <laughs> look at that thing! That is a beautiful, beautiful super commando gun. Oh, that's cool. I like the purple, purple head too. That's really pretty. But it's a very evil gun. I'm gonna stick with that. Okay, let's go ahead to my stronghold and see what we can see there. Okay, we are hanging out in my Coruscant stronghold with my evil, evil Sith. And we're just gonna take a look at those decos that I got. So this goes on a floor large. Assuming they're all technological. something you can press. Oh, it's kind of cool. It's got like a glowing little wall. I haven't actually checked out Iocath yet, so if you guys recognize this more than me, let me know in the comments if this is anything special or just kind of weird bits and bobs you've seen around Iocath. We have the Iocath mini dome on a floor medium. Well, that's uh, exciting. It should open or something like that. That'd be way cooler. Iocast. Oh, this goes on a wall large. This is the lava ball. I'm hoping this is super cool. Oh, look at that! That is super cool. Oh, that's neat. Oh, okay, you denote lava doesn't burn you. So apparently, if you have a large hook in your house somewhere. You can just have lava in your house. Oh, that's really neat. Be cool. I don't know, just decoration in general or a forge or... I, I don't know what you're gonna do with lava in your house. Let's see. I'll cast power cell and it goes on a red hook. Let's put it over here. So noisy. Oh, that's really cool. Actually, it looks really nice. Oh, look at that. For a screenshot? Heck yeah. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Outcast Forge Rotor, and it goes in. Oh, is a ceiling decoration. Um. Alright. It's okay. You almost uh, absolutely need the lighting hooks to actually have lights in them because some of these strongholds are so dark. Iocath transport tube and oh that has to go outside. Oh that can't even go here. We don't even have a starship hook. <laughs> oh that's too bad. Can you go inside it? If you can go inside it, that's kinda cool. Iocath battery and that goes on floor medium. Oh, that's also super boring. I hate these kind of decorations. Like, where- what kind of house would you actually put these in? If you have to choose something to go in a medium hook, why would you choose a big piece of random machinery? We did this one. Uh, Forge Cauldron goes on a floor large. Is a is technological? Uh, just not a machine. <laughs> Can you jump in this one? Oh, it's got. Oh, it doesn't even have lava in it. What? Oh, that would have been kind of cool if it was smaller and had lava. I'll cast seam vent. It goes on a wall medium. Let's look for this a long way. It's apparently a fixed structure, which is kind of weird. 
There you go, there's another steam vent. That's kind of cool, there's a couple different steam vents in the game already. I have half transport tube, and I also you already saw, and that's it. Yeah, that was a pretty disappointing pack. There's way too many decos that weren't actually good, and the armors weren't really to my tastes. But super lucky with the chance cubes, so I guess in the long run I should just buy chance cubes. Okay, I hope you guys are having fun on IOCAT, and those of you who are still loving, leveling, keep at her. See you guys later.